Welcome to the tutorial on factors and primes. In this tutorial we are going to go through prime factors. So what is a prime factor? Well prime factors are simply prime numbers Let me just make a note of this. Prime numbers, which when multiplied together, give us a number. So let's have a look at our first example. What are the prime factors of the number 56? Now before we begin this, let's jot down the first few prime numbers. Now don't forget, a prime number is a number which is only divisible by itself and the number 1. So the first prime number is 2, after that, after that is 3, 5, now 4 is not a prime number because 2 times 2 equals 4, 7, 11, 13, and we can keep going on and on. But I think we're just going to need these for the first example. So let's begin. We're going to write down the number 56 and what we're going to do is use a factor tree to answer this question. Now look at the number 56 and start with the smallest prime number which is 2. Is 56 divisible by 2? In other words, can you divide 56 by 2? Well it's an even number so yes we can. So what we do is we write down 2 over here, and what is left over? 56 divided by 2 is 28. 2 times 28 equals 56. I'm just going to change colors to highlight that we have got our first prime factor of the number 56. So we are left with the number now, 28. Now is 28 divisible by 2. Again, we're starting with the smallest prime number. Well, yes it is, because it is an even number. So 28 divided by 2 is, and you'll know this, the answer is 14. 2 times 14 equals 28. And we have now got our second prime factor of the number 56. We are left now with number 14. Again, starting with the smallest prime number, is 14 divisible by 2? Well, the answer is yes, because 14 is an even number. So we write down 2 over here. And what is left? Well, 14 divided by 2 is 7. Now you'll notice here that we have now got another prime factor of the number 56. But look at the number left over, 7. 7 is also a prime number. So we cannot divide that any further. Therefore, to answer the question, 56, the prime factors of the number 56 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. Those are all the ones that we have circled. And what we can do is, we can simplify this by, let me just change colors for this. We can write down 2, and because there's 3 of them, to the power of 3. So therefore the answer becomes 2 to the power of 3 times 7. So the prime factors of the number 56 are 2 to the power of 3 times 7. And that is how we work out the prime factors of any number. So let's move on to our second example. What are the prime factors of the number 252? Now the principle is the same, so don't uh, become frightened by large numbers. Now, I always like to start these by jotting down all of the prime numbers, the smaller ones to begin with. So the first one is 2, after that is 3, 5, 7, 
11, 13. And you can keep going on and on. And it's also good practice because it helps you to memorize the first few prime numbers. So let's get back to the number 252. Let's jot this down. And we're going to use the factor tree again. Now look at the number 252. Is it divisible by the smallest prime number, which is 2? The answer is yes, because it is an even number. So we can 2 over here. And what is left over? Well, we can do a quick calculation here. 252 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 2 is into 5 is 2, remainder of 1. And we're left with 6, 126. So we have got our first prime factor of the number 252. We are now left with 126. And the same principle applies. Is 126 divisible by 2? The answer is yes, because it is an even number. 2, and what is left over? So what's 126 divided by 2? The answer is simple. 60 and I'm sure you can do that in your head. If you can't, just keep practicing. Here is our second prime factor. We are now left with the number 63. Now is 63 divisible by the number 2? Well, it isn't because it's an odd number. 63 is an odd number, so we cannot divide it by 2. What do we do next? We move on to the next prime number, which is 3. Is 63 divisible by 3? Well, the answer is yes. So we write down 3 over here. What is left over? Well, 3 is into 6 is 2. 3 is into 3 is 1. 3 times 21 gives us 63. So there is our third prime factor. It's a 3. Now 21. The number 21, can we divide that any further? Is that a prime number? Well, it's not a prime number. We can divide it by 3. Okay, let me just color this in. We can divide it by 3. We can't divide it by 2 because it's an odd number. So dividing it by 3, we get 7. 3 times 7 is 21, working backwards. So we've got our next prime factor. It's a 3. But look at the number left over. That's a 7, and 7 is a prime number. So that's it. We have found all the prime factors of the number 252. Let's write them down here. 252 equals all the ones we've circled. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. Now we can simplify these. 2 times 2 is, we can write that down as 2 to the power of 2, because there's two of them. And 3 times 3, we can write down 3 to the power of 2. Therefore we can simplify this by writing down 2 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 2 times 7. So those are the prime factors of the number 252. The answer is 2 to the power of 2, or you can say 2 squared, times 3 to the power of 2 times 7. And that is how we work out prime factors of any number. And a final point, Please do not be afraid of large numbers. It's the same principle. Use the factor tree, learn the prime numbers, and you will get to the answer.